Hey everyone, it's Lady Cree. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I do pray and hope that you and your families are all doing well. I wanted to come on and share with you a quick, quick project share in hopes to inspire you. Okay, so many of you know by now that I am doing a mini 4th of July series. And just to inspire you to pull out some red, white, and blue. <laughs> so let me share with you what I have used. And I believe this is video four. Okay. So I pulled out my pearlescent embossing powder. I used my Onyx Black Versafine ink. I pulled out my... Um, jelly bean soup my adhesive sequence this is um, silver red and blue i also pulled out one of my favorite stamp sets this is hero arts and i used happy fourth of july i also pulled out a hampton art stamp and die set and i used this banner here I also use my Sizzix Stephanie Bernard, and this is the Dotted Stars. I also pulled out another one of my most favorites. This is the Jaded Blossom Rick Rack Topper Die. Yes, love, love, love this die. And the paper of choice that I use is my Americana Paper Pad by Pebbles. Okay. So I've shared with you before that my daughter has went away to um, obtain her master's degree. She's at Baylor University. And I wanted to create her class some treat bags. Here we go. Okay, so let me share with you the treat bags. There you go. I love, love, love how they all turned out. So this is this one with the flags at the background. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you can see the embossing, it has a very, very pretty pearlescent finish to it. And um, the clear bags I use to put the M&Ms in does not have the sticky strip at the bottom because they're just going to tear it open. So they may not even know what to do with the topper so here's that one here's that one and I did these two here this is what the license plate background and I did five blue stars and here's another license plate but I'd use the blue star for that Here's this background where I use the paper that has the banners across. And here is these two. So I love how these turned out. Oh, <laughs> I think they are adorable. And you know, it was a lot of, <laughs> everything had to be, of course, die cut it out and stamped and embossed and stuff like that but that's the fun we have uh, when we create our own things right i refuse to go to the store and get some things especially when i know i can create it myself so i get excited about that all right you all well i pray that you were inspired by this video here again this is video four for my mini fourth of july series and hopefully you can make you some toppers to package you up some treats for your family and friends as well until next time my friends be encouraged be blessed bye